Today we're going to take a look at the first 2023 Honda ATV model lineup announcement that was just released and go over everything you need to know. Up first we have the 2023 Honda Rancher 420 model lineup and if you're confused by the million different model variations, check out some of my past videos where I explain the nitty gritty differences between them as in this video we're just going to quickly touch on the new details from the announcement as we run through all of the models. We have 8 different Rancher models returning for this year and to start things off we have the 2x4 Rancher with your choice of a manual shift transmission or electric shift with the same colors to choose from, red or black forest green, which used to be called olive green, but they've changed it up for this year, but we're just going to shorten it and call it green for the rest of this video. Up next, we move into the four-wheel drive models and every model from here on out is four-wheel drive. You've got your Rancher 420 4x4 with the same option as the 2x4 with a manual shift transmission or electric shift, also known as ES for short. And for colors, you now get the option of spending an extra $500 on top of the red or green color for Honda's Phantom Camo finish. Then we move over to the Rancher EPS, which is short for Honda's electric power steering model with the manual gearbox. Then we have the Rancher DCT EPS returning and DCT is short for dual clutch transmission, which is their style of automatic transmission they've been using in the ATV lineup since 2014 for the Rancher and 2015 on the Rubicon, with the Rencon being the only model to have an automatic that's not a DCT. Followed up by the next two models where we get away from Honda's solid axle rear suspension in favor of independent rear suspension or IRS as it's commonly referred to as. You have the Rancher DCT IRS coming in at $79.99 or if you'd rather make life easier for yourself in the steering department, you can get the same model with EPS for an additional $700. Up next, we move over to the Foreman 520 model lineup that includes three models and we'll start off with the cheapest, your bare bones manual shift and if you'd like to add EPS to give your arms a break, the EPS model returns as well if you'd like to spend the extra money. Then we have our last Foreman which is the ES EPS model that gives you some different flavors to choose from over the usual red and green. And up next we head over to the Rubicon 520 model lineup that includes four different models to choose from and with the manual shift model it comes with the EPS standard while starting at $92.99. Then you move up to the Rubicon DCT, which is hundred bucks cheaper and gives you a low range, but you lose EPS or you can get the Rubicon DCT EPS for another $700. And last but not least with the Rubicon lineup is the deluxe DCT EPS model that has now finally broken the $10,000 price point for a Honda ATV, which is obviously a nice chunk of change. I remember talking with customers many years ago about how I didn't see Honda building a 1000cc ATV because it'd be up over that $10,000 mark and not a lot of people want to spend that much money on an ATV, but yeah, here we are. Back on topic though, we've still got one model left and can you guess what it is? The Dinosaur, also known as the Rencon 680. She's back again for 2023 and if you thought the Rencon had some changes coming its way for 2023, I hate to burst your bubble but hey, on a more positive note, it's still here and hasn't been discontinued without a worthy replacement, leaving another hole in Honda's ATV model lineup that hasn't been filled like with some others. And that's all of the details from Honda's first 2023 ATV model lineup announcement. If you'd like to learn more about Honda's ATV models, check out HondaProKevin.com or flip through some of my past videos. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest news from Honda and I'll see you guys again soon with a 2023 Honda Pioneer update video as well as more info on new 2023 motorcycles too. Thanks for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one.